the Adidas Adizero Adios Pro 3 is a marvel of race shoe technology. Just look at that, 39 millimeters of light strike pro foam. That beautifully curved a toe off. And do I detect carbon? Yes, yes I do, the carbon rods are right there. But this shoe left me a little curious. How does a shoe like this stack up to a shoe from let's say a decade ago? I'd love to answer this question, but how do I find a shoe from a decade ago? Ooh, I know, my smartwatch has a new time travel widget. Come over here. All right, so you just gotta set the mode like this. And here we go. Yo, this weekend, Wilson Kipsang set an absolutely unbeatable marathon world record of two hours, three minutes, and 31 seconds in this marvel of a shoe, the Adidas Adios Boost. Like, I am just completely like, mind blown. Like, I'm telling you, like, we've peaked. It's like, hey, hey man, those are my shoes. Oh, crap. Ah, have a look at this. This is peak shoe development for its time. The design philosophy is really clear in this shoe. There is only 23 millimeters of boost foam in the rear and a 10 millimeter drop. So this shoe is all about minimalism. Honestly, the word racing flat is not a joke. So comparing these two shoes is like comparing an old Ferrari to a modern Formula One car. And despite the sheer difference in foam, this is six full grams lighter than this one. Now, this wouldn't be a running expert video without a little comparison. So we sent these two shoes up on our treadmill to measure the oxygen uptake or running economy of these two shoes to see which one is actually more efficient. And the results were very predictable. We tested at 12 and 16 kilometers an hour and found a four to 6% difference in oxygen uptake, which is massive, but also completely to be expected. My shoes. Besides being able to look at the numbers, Emil reported that the boost was pretty uncomfortable to run in. So minimalistic, he could literally feel the gaps in the tread on the treadmill. It's pretty insane how far running shoes have come over the last decade. But you know what else is insane? How far our understanding of pronation has come. So check out this video to learn if it's something that you should be concerned about.